All right, Hannah, we're going to watch your brushstroke video here, and we're going to watch it um, in the underwater portion. You know, the good thing for you is not only do you get to have me watching it, but you also have great asset with your mother. She'll be watching as well, and maybe she'll see some things that maybe I'm missing. Um, but I think a lot of the stuff that we've seen with your breaststroke lately has gotten a lot stronger and a lot faster. So thrilled, thrilled with what you're doing in your breaststroke lately. So let's kind of keep it up and uh, we'll see where this takes us. It's a good strong dolphin kick. All right, we're going to start this over and we'll kind of go step by step. All right. So as we get into our very first stroke here, the one thing we really, really like in the very beginning is like how you're doing your thumbs down and then you're doing your pinkies up while you press your hands out for that pull. Okay, that's an excellent job of catching water real early on. Looks fantastic. You always want to make sure you're turning those hands out to really grab the water. And that looks great. As you're lifting your head up to breathe, you can see that you're starting to lift that chin up a little bit. Let that head just kind of fall up with your shoulders and then fall down with your shoulders. Um, you want to make sure that we're not lifting our head and ducking our head quite so much. It should be just a nice, smooth motion, not so much neck movement out there. Now, with that being said, this pull right here, that looks nice and strong. You have high elbows. You can see that you're starting to bring your hands in for the in-sweep, which is excellent. I love how your hands are right near the top of the water as you're pushing forward. And do a great job of keeping your hands forward, too. Uh, one of the things I've been seeing from a lot of people is either pushing too low or even pushing straight down. But this is a great job of moving forward. You're always wanting your breaststroke to move forward. The other thing I really like is on your head position here, you're looking straight down the bottom of the pool, which helps put you in a good, strong, tight body line. And as you can see on those legs out here, got your ankles turned out. Looks like a good kick. As we finish that kick, we're going to be in a great body line in the water. So right here, your legs aren't quite together. And what I want you to see is with your hands, you can start to see they just start moving. Let those feet come together first. Okay, you want to finish that kick before you start that next pull. We don't want to be in a rush to get to the next stroke. Always make sure you're finishing. So it's really just kind of a slight little glide, but finish that kick. On that pull right here, you can see your elbows are almost in line with your shoulders. So while they're high elbows, I don't want them up that high because if you kind of go like that, it's a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling. Let those hands come in and sweep underneath as you bring those elbows in a little bit too. So your elbows here are just a little bit high. We like the high elbows, but we don't want them quite up near the surface there. Let me bring those feet in towards those hips. Right here is an excellent job. You can see those feet are really right on your hips there. Absolutely perfect. And again, look at your hands. Your hands are moving forward. Head's looking down already. Great job there, Hannah. Love how you're pushing forward. Absolutely. All right, so this is kind of what we're talking about here, the good body line. You can see that your head is into your streamline which is excellent. Your finished stroke is right out front. Your feet are together and your hands are just getting ready to start that pull, but you are exactly where you want to be. You're just barely underwater, which is excellent. All right, so the one thing that we kind of see, and I, and I can see a little bit, but I wasn't sure what it was. Try not to let those elbows, you can see those elbows here are starting to fall back before your hands are. You want to try to keep those elbows a little more still and let those hands be the guide. All right. So make sure you're kind of pressing out, coming in and using your hands to pull through the water. Don't let your elbows fall back. You can kind of see here, here's your shoulder. And then there's your elbow. Your elbows are a little bit behind your shoulder. Try not to let them come too much back. You can see really they're right here to your rib cage. So you want to try to keep those hands and those shoulders a little bit further in front. Great job of turning out those ankles. Again, body line looks good. 
Great flexibility in those legs. Excellent. All right, as we go into our turn here, I think we're going to see this above the water a little bit more, but you definitely look like you're pulling up a little bit on that wall. Don't pull your shoulders out of the water. You want to try to keep your shoulders right at water depth. Um, as we're going into your turn, you've got a great job crossing those feet. You always want those feet kind of stacked on top of each other as you transition from one direction to the other. That's excellent. You've already brought this hand. is just about to come off the wall. This hand is right into your side. Very, very nice job there. Good streamline, good job pushing off the wall. Excellent dolphin kick. Head position still is here. That looks great. The one thing is your hands. You can kind of see your hands are out to your side there. What we'd like to see you do, and remember from your shoulders down to your thighs, that's where you're going to the strongest part of that pull on the pull out, right? But you want to drive those hands to the front of those thighs. If you put them on the front of your thighs, your shoulders will be a little bit more hunched and then you'll still be in a nice, tight, streamlined position. Even though your hand to your side, it helps keep your body a little more streamlined. So work on getting those thighs, to the, or those hands to the front of those thighs. Excellent job on the first stroke. You can see that your hand is right at the widest part here, and your head is just getting ready to come out of the water. And I can't wait to see what it looks like above water, because you're going to be able to tell how far you just came off that wall. That was outstanding, Hannah. We want to make sure we always have good, long underwater pull-outs. And that was good. I didn't see any rushing from you at all. Right into your stroke, exactly where you want to be. And boom. Great job, Hannah. You're awesome. 